and welcome back. Today let's see how to configure and set expiration dates on products. In many companies, products have expiration dates and they should be tracked based on those dates. Especially in the case of food industry, uh, tracking stocks based on expiration dates so it is not a right practice to sell uh, low quality or expired products to customers. And in order, we already have an uh, option to track products based on lots of serial numbers. And along with that, we can use this option to set. Okay, so inside inventory, in configuration settings, we can enable lots and serial numbers. Like you can see, lots and serial numbers for tracing product. Then you can see if you search for expiration date, you can see that option to set expiration dates on lots and serial numbers. And we can also enable option to display expiration dates on delivery slips. So after enabling them, let's create a new product. And uh, here we have to make sure that the product type is storable. And now let's give a price for this product. Then under inventory, we have an option that is for tracing the product, tracking the product. So traceability or tracking can be done. A product can be tracked based on a unique serial number. So for each, each quantity, a unique number should be given. And uh, products can also be tracked by using lots, lot number. So group of products can be assigned a lot number. And if you don't want to track the product, then no tracking option can be chosen. So we have already done a video on lots and serial numbers in order for it. So we can check the video to know more about it. Then, so if you choose lots or serial number, you can see a new field for setting expiration dates. So when you enable this, you will be able to see four dates shown. So you can set these dates here. So first one is expiration time. So after receiving the product, number of days after which the product expires. Like if you give three days, then three days after, the, after receiving the product, this product expires. Then here we can give best before date. It means the number of days before the expiration date uh, when the product starts deteriorating. That means its quality gets reduced. Uh, but it is not dangerous to consume. But with low quality. So we can add a best before time before expiration date. Then removal time. A removal time that is number of days before expiration date uh, the product should be removed from stock then we can add alert time that we can uh, show alert or warning to users regarding the expiration time or removal, removal time so that can be given and after that we can save this and you can see I have added tracking by lots okay we have zero quantity zero on hand for this product so now let's purchase this product i'm adding five quantity Okay. Now let's confirm this order and inside receipt here we can 
here we have to add lots of serial numbers because when you confirm this that try to validate it the warning will be shown that you need to supply lots of serial number for product this product so I'm adding a lot number for five products and here you can see automatically expiration date is shown as we have set three days after receiving the product uh, the product will expire so you can see the date here three days after receiving then here we can add the done as five so for five quantities of this product we have given a lot number then after that let's confirm this okay so here you can see done then let's validate this product so we have received this product and in traceability you can see the option here lot number date then from vendors to stock five quantities a mood so now when you move to chicken pizza you can see five five quantities purchased you can see that and you can see the removal date here so as we have given removal day is one day before expiration you can see that then now let's move on to inventory here we have under products lots of serial numbers so here are here is our lots of serial number for chicken pizza so when you open this you can see some details like a lot of serial number then product name then quantity for which the lot is assigned internal reference if there is an internal reference then company name then here you can see a tab for dates so this is seen only when you enable expiration dates for your uh, date for your product then only this will be shown and so here you can see the expiration date according to the days you have given inside the configuration product configuration you can see it's 11 3 then you can see the best before date is it is assigned then removal date and alert date you can also change this suppose I'm changing alert date for today then if I save this and when I come back and group this sorry filter this according to expiration alert then you can see for two products there are alerts so here you can see for second pizza there is an expiration alert as we have given alert time alert date now here if we change expiration date to today you can see an alert here expiration alert shown Now let's see this. So uh, I have said that this product is expired yesterday. And if I try to sell this product, sell this product, let's see what happens. Ingredient quotation for this product. Please confirm this order. Then, when you try to deliver this product to customer, a wizard will be shown. Like you are going to deliver the product, chicken pizza. A wizard is shown. That is, you are going to deliver the product chicken pizza with lot number which is expired. So, do you want to con uh, do you want to proceed? If you want to proceed, then you can confirm. Otherwise, it will be skipped uh, and like proceed expect except for expired one. So, let's confirm this. You issue the product. So the product is delivered to customer. 
So this is how we set expiration dates for products, our lot and serial numbers and track the product. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoatsyprocess.com.